Hi everyone, in this chapter we will talk about our second collection interface, maps. Map is a relation between set of keys and set of values. We define a key for a value inside the keys space and we point to any value inside the values space. These keys and values are both inside the map object. Map is such a dictionary. It has a label and a description as an object instance. Label is the key and description is the value. You use keys to label the objects and whenever you need, you may access these objects with these labels again. For instance, here I have defined a map reference and created a concrete implementation of map interface. It is hash map. And into this hash map, I have put three customer instances, customer 1, 2 and 3. And I have labeled them with different labels. The first one is great customer, second is bad customer and third is the average customer. And whenever we need to access the average customer, we may access it by the label we defined before. So, map interface has two important methods. The first one is put and the second is get. You may put any value into a map object by labeling it with a key. So this is the key, this is the value object you want to store. You use put method for this and you may get this instance or this instance by using the label you have defined before so average customer label will access to customer tree so customer tree will be stored inside this customer reference so the key you defined inside the key space should be string or number. Using the other classes is possible, but this is the most common way because hash code method of the key classes must uh, produce unique results. But if you use custom classes as map keys, you need to make sure that your hash code method returns unique and uniform results. If hash code cannot produce unique results, the performance of the map will be so poor. This hash code must return unique results so that maps can distribute the, the keys uniformly. In that case, it will be so fast to search for an item for a key inside that map maps and key space inside it has limited memory it can be configured in the beginning but it is always limited let's say we have 16 possible memory block to put our keys inside the map then any generated key that we generate with hash code method of the key class will be put into a block address here with key modulus 16 because we only have 16 blocks and even if we have more than 16 items all of them should be pointed inside this memory block so we get uh, the modulus of the hash code generated by hash code method so if the hash code generated 1 it goes to 1 if it generated 17 again it will go to this block and if the hash code generated 33 for another object instance it will be pointed at memory block 1 again so all the instances will be pointed at the same memory block to prevent this you may grow the key space for instance if you increase the memory block count to 2056 they will be more evenly distributed in the key space 
1 will go to 1, 17 will go to 17, 33 will go to 33 because all the values will be calculated by key modulus 2056. So you may configure the number of items inside a hash map. Here is an example. If customer 1 instance create a hash code 1, it will be directed, it will be referenced from this key and the customer 1 will be put inside here. After that, if customer 2 creates a hash code 17, 17 mod 16, it will be put into 1 again. Okay? If customer 3 creates a hash code such as 33, it will be again put into 1 because 33 mod 16 again 1. So all of them will be put into a linked list and this linked list will be referred from this key space. So this key space will point to a linked list. So after putting all of this customer, let's say we are trying to find an item with hash code 33. For this, first we use hash code method to find the correct key inside the key space so we find one here after that jvm goes to the link list it refers to and inside this all of the instances will be checked against echoes method of the customer class so when jvm finds the correct customer it will return the customer three instance for instance here that's why hash code and echoes method should conform to each other because they are used together first to find the correct key inside the key space hash code is used and after that all the object instances inside the link list referred by this key are checked with echoes method map is dictionary so you don't have to iterate over all the objects to find the desired object think about the dictionary you don't have to iterate all the pages to find a word you are searching for for instance you are searching for java in that case you will directly go to j uh, word after that you may go to j a and then you may go to j a v and then java okay in that case only four searches will be enough otherwise if you are searching inside an array list you must start from the first item and you need to iterate all the items till you find j so this is so 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 much slower compared to map if you will search for an item over and over again you need to use map because inside map search times is constant and independent from the number of the items inside the map because if the hash code creates uniform results all of the items will be inside their own keys in that way even if there are millions of objects you will find the object you are searching for with its hash code in a constant time if you put all of them in, into an array list since they have no hash code or something like this we will iterate from the beginning to the end please don't forget this